person saying that? Yes. Um, I, was, I was told many years ago, again, I haven't uh, authenticated this. And to be honest, it's not something I'm going to make an illegal ruling on. Um, so I'm not really worrying about it. Um, but the, for what I was told is the Sahabas you said you get the best of both worlds. So I'm going to light another charcoal. I'm going to light another charcoal. Mine's just burning out. Um, smells so good. Oh. So where is this myrrh from? This that particular myrrh that you've got is, we, we sell two. Uh, two. Hmm. We sell um, two types. We have one from, uh, that's five pounds and 40 grams, which is from Kenya. Mm. And then a better grade, which is what you're burning, which is seven pounds for 40 grams, which is from Somalia. Um, mm. And normally, normally, it's very, very difficult to get good quality myrrh at the moment. People attending to um, these blessed places, attending to send the incense direct to places like Dubai and stuff like this, and then they're selling off in massive tons for people to make essential oils from it. And then whatever's left, if you're lucky, it might go somewhere else. So it, it really, really travels, um, which is good, but at the same time, It'd be nice if somebody could bring it directly in um, rather than, you know. But to do that, last time somebody was asking me to, to buy from them wholesale, they wanted me to take something like 30 to 30 ton or something like this, um, uh, which is quite a, yeah. Can you imagine in my little shop? Um, I would be selling, if I had the risk to buy it, I, that's all I would sell for the rest of my life. Uh, um, so if people are asking some questions, we're going to, inshallah, answer the questions in the second part of our this life. Month. At the moment, we're just kind of burning and smelling and stuff. So do keep your questions and we'll try to remember them too. Um, but yeah, right now we're talking about myrrh. Um, this is Somali myrrh. So is it is it also a resin, like a sap from a tree? Yes, or exactly. Yeah. So if you, if you, most people don't understand it until you say, until you say like maple syrup. You literally, yeah. got, they, they take off the first layer of bark and then the tree starts to ooze, and then it will crystallize. This is for frankincense and myrrh. It kind of crystallizes in tears. And then they leave it so many months, and then they will come and collect it. And they know when they can tap it and when they can't, and how much to do it. Um, to put it frankly, if they over tap it, they, they kill their own, their, own, their own supply, you know? Um, so it's, it's cool. I've just lit, I've just lit another charcoal. Um, sent you Hajari, didn't I? You sent me Hajari and you sent me, um, uh, I've got two, and you sent me a big man, a royal one. I've got a royal green frankincense. Okay, so I'll and mention the, I'm just the granules. You. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. The royal green frankincense. But the royal green, because it's not burnt, I'll mention that first and then we'll throw on some Hajari because you'll really feel the difference because I can see your mirror's going to take a few minutes to burn off anyway. Um, uh, you know, um, so the the royal green traditionally it's it's Botswana sacra, Botswana sacra. Uh, Botswana indicates it's frankincense, and the next name is the type of genius or plant or something like this. Um, this sometimes it has a green hue to it, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's milky white, sometimes it's darker. Um, but that frankincense traditionally is known as royal green, or it's known as medicinal grade, and there's a few reasons. So. Um, Royal green, they say the myth is when all the royal greens collected that the royal family of Oman have first pick of it to be burnt for themselves and in their, and in their palace. Allahu alim, I think that's another romantic thing, you know. Mm -hmm. After that, whatever's left can be traded. Okay. Um, so that's, that's the first thing. Medicinal grade, the reason why that's, it's got that title is traditionally a piece like this size. So maybe like a five pence piece size. You would chew or you would infuse with, in boiling, or, you know, in war, hot water, or you would boil. Um, it does destroy your pan, though, if you boil it up in a pan. Um, so, yeah, it, it makes it very waxy. Um, the other thing is, I, I, I like chewing it, or the other way is I throw maybe 20 pence piece size in a cup of boiling water mug, and let it get, sit there, stir it a couple of times, a couple of minutes later, and they sip it. It doesn't have a bitter edge to it when you put it in hot water compared to if you burn it, um, if you, sorry, not if you burn it, if you chew it. And then so what that's royal good. Royal green, yeah? That's royal green, yeah. Um, and that's traditionally then used for anxiety, stress, depression. Uh, actually, I did prep this bit. Um, frankincense has anti inflammatory benefits, antiseptic, astringent, mood booster. 
Um, what else we got? Um, so frankincense water. If you throw a, a chunk in, maybe like a twenty pence piece into into a bottle of like a litre, a litre of cold water, put it in the fridge, leave 24 hours, then stir it. It's really good after you've been fasting, but generally it's good for, uh, there's a list here, sorry, uh, digestive problems, strengthens immune system, uh, natural diuretic, strengthens tones and lifts the skin, muscles, internal organs, promotes skin uh, regeneration, stuff like it's joint health. Get, it's great for, uh, so, myrrh and Frank is good, the sense is good for detoxing. Um, and this is burning. These properties are good whilst for, for this burning. is all talking. This is talking all about the royal green frankincense uh, <laughs> and inf and infusing it to drink to to drink it. Yeah, um, anti carcinogenic, uh, stress stress relief, inflammation, uh, eases fever and headaches. Penetrate. Oh, I'll come back to that. Uh, helps with the bron bronchitis. Uh, helps re uh, relieve sore throats. Um, there was a study done, see if I can remember this, 2008 by Hopkins University in America, um, where they found that frankincense, and if this is frankincense oil, is one of the few things that passes between blood-brain barrier. And I always think about the salt water and, and the fresh water. By Allah's command, it doesn't mix. Mm. There's few things that pass through that, and frankincense is one of them. Um, so some people say this royal green is the highest grade of frankincense out of the Hajari. Um, wow. And it has very high frequencies. Um, so there's most, nearly all of that that I just mentioned applies to frankincense. There's no, there's no real exemption. And in the Sufi tradition, mm. if you had anxiety, stress, depression, your mind's wandering all over the place, you need, you're in trauma. They, they, my dad said, they would burn frankincense to look like a cloud in a tent or in a room and then throw you in um, <laughs> and leave you to sit there. A bit like Rose has the same thing. It's good for bringing trauma out, but um, it's quite nice. I'm going to put the, the Hajari on when you're ready. So are you putting it on with the myrrh? Um, I can do. I haven't done, but you can stick yours on. Can you I? Stick yours... Yeah, of course you can. Just You'll get you kind of... Pay attention. You You'll get kind of a tangerine note when you burn it together. Okay, I don't know if there's enough space for both on my little bit of charcoal that I've got left. Let me try. Come on, Sakina, make it work. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Oh, mashallah, good. You got, you, I was going to say about the spoon. A lot of people ask about tongs and stuff. Actually, this is my best friend. This is more than five years old. It's an old battered spoon, teaspoon, and it stops you being tempted to burn your fingers. This is a lifesaver. <laughs> Okay, I've managed to get my balance of my frankincense and myrrh. So if you smell it, you should you should have kind of a tangerine note. Mm. Definitely, I definitely feel the vibe. You know, and, and if you pay attention, you can still feel that earthing go yeah. down. And it doesn't just go into your lungs, it feels like it's going to your toes. But at the same time, you feel it's like somebody's stretching and, you, and you, your head feels like it's lifting at the same time. Mm, I know what you mean, actually. Nice, isn't it? Nice. That earth thing, but also that kind of yeah, yeah. Expansion at the same time. It's really yeah, it's really good. So I always remember heaven and earth. Heaven and earth works with that really well. It doesn't let you forget what it is then. That is a really good. That's a really good analogy. Um, someone's asking about rose oil. We actually have some exciting something I think is really exciting. I've never seen before to do with rose and frankincense, which we're gonna show you guys a bit later. But do you do oil like rose oil or when we get it in? We sell it, um, but I, I'm quite picky. As you know, in my shop, I'm quite picky. If I don't like something, I won't sell it. Um, so for many years, I wouldn't sell. I wouldn't sell sage um, right. because, because I don't like the smell of burning it, or I couldn't find good quality. I like it in soup, food, oils, everything. But when it comes to burning it, it makes me run. Um, but um, then eventually, I found a really good quality one, and we got you. you well, you know about that. Um, that small stick of sage. <laughs> yeah, that tiny stick of stage. The pearls of Islam, they, they, they were burning one and they quoted the dan, uh, dad saying, what was it? Something like, man, you got to burn up shaitan. <laughs> <laughs> I really it's, like that. It's like a wand, like get rid of all that negative you know, shit. You know, actually, while that's burning, we're mentioning sage. I was trying to find it. I did put um, a post on my account quite a while ago, if people want to find it, about sage. 
um, I think it's the Oprah magazine. They were quoting some doctor or some researcher. Um, and it's in a nutshell, it, it's saying, they said it in detail, but it says science says burning sage can clean the air and remove up to 94% of bacteria. Yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah, yeah. that's deep, man. That's deep. Okay. I put, I put, I put as much as I could on the post, underneath the post, and then I also put the link so people can go read it. But um, incense does work a little bit like a charcoal for the air. It, it kind of grips all the things that are, you know, floating that shouldn't be, and it, it deadens it down. It's quite nice. Mm. So for people that are watching that are, you know, interested in getting some of these resins and, and some of these incenses, we're doing a really, um, our gift to you for, for joining us is that we're giving you a 10% discount so if anyone wants to wants to order anything from the Nakshi store then you can um follow follow the inspos first of all follow his instagram page if you're not already um and then there's a link there's a website link and you can do you'll get 10 percent discount and um you obviously you sell you um you deliver internationally isn't it you also yeah, yeah i was wondering where you were going with that <laughs> yeah i was like well, but um so definitely definitely because not that i'm a connoisseur but obviously you know i love i love incense i love before i love resins but the quality that i'm experiencing with with these ones is like yeah it's it's for real it's, it's really good quality there you go there's a coupon code so you'd have to i think because you're the primary um live you'll have to pin that or copy it and pin it if if you want to i'm still learning how to use instagram my wife laughs at me to be honest no, um she's online actually if you want to give her some grief Salam alaikum. i hope that you're well there you go i think i pinned it brilliant yeah you've done it thank you yes um yes okay cool so we've got so let me um you you mentioned something about I've also got something called co co Copal or Copal, I don't know how to pronounce it. Which yeah, have, like have you, if you knock, if we, before we go to the Copal, if you do the Hodjari by itself, if you, okay. if you, if you, because otherwise if you go to Copal straight away, it's going to be hard for you to recognise certain notes. Right, okay, cool. Let me, um, I'm going to need to get some new incense in a second. I mean, You're going to light the charcoal? Yeah, but let me do this, let me do this first. Okay, so, let me grab some as well. I hope everyone is well. Salam alaikum. Hello, greetings to everybody wherever you are in the world. Salam. <clears throat> and you know, we hear things in the tradition as well about those certain smells that attract um, and angels and stuff. Are these things authentic, do you think, or is it just kind of folklore? Like, what do you think? Like, can, do these smells. No, no, I believe it. I believe it, you know. So this is this is sorry if you when you smell this you'll feel a very gentle kind of menthol eucalyptus kind of um very high notes this is hodjari yeah this is on hodjari hodjari is the one you've got now it's very nice um i was very lucky at the moment hodjari is very difficult to get <clears throat> one with the covid but two because it, it was between seasons um and then you get the politics in Oman now and again. But I was, I end up getting 30 kilos of that Hajari granule sent to me. This is Wait. It's next so, level, isn't it? Yeah, really. Yeah, it really takes you. It really takes you. It's, it's about as close as, um, as, as a, a, a believer is allowed to get to being intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, getting high. we're getting high on this incense. That's it, yeah, yeah. You got somebody asking you, have you been doing something? I'm like, no, no, it's just the incense, man. It's the incense. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Um, I genuinely believe that they are protective. I genuinely believe that... Um, I was told that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah knows the best, I didn't authenticate it again, that to burn incense every prayer time. Um, you know, but even even if we disagree on the strength of that or not, well, everybody agrees the strength of Rasulullah said it is sadaqah, a charity to wear perfume. Yes, yes. Definitely. You know? Definitely. And, and the Arabs are well known for putting this underneath the abayas, uh, you know, putting it under the scarf before leaving. I was once told it was, uh, again, by my abuji, he, he said that it's the, traditionally it was used as a deodorant. 
it helped to mm-hmm. and also keeps parasites and stuff like this away so subhanallah it's yeah. it's, it's a, yeah by keeping the sun there you keep a protection it's you know yeah, what's that know. phrase that that old phrase uh, cleanliness is close to godliness yes exactly and you know i'm a big fan of like folklore comes to these kind of things you know what i'm saying yeah. like whether it's like you know 100% exactly you know or <laughs> like just the idea just the concept of it like if the concept is just burn these things purify your space you know bring cleanliness into your space like for me it doesn't i'm not one of those people when it comes to like incense and perfumes that everything needs to be 100% from this chain of narration it's just like yeah 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 use incense make your place smell good <clears throat> like bring the good vibes you know what i'm saying it's not incredible that usually the people that are quoting this and that um you know as how you say uh using narrations to beat people into submission when it comes down to it you look them up and down they're wearing plastic trainers they they're out playing cricket they they they're, they're wearing clothes that are printed and you think well if you want to go really orthodox yeah you can't do it then you you be serious man you got to open up a little bit you know use your brain um so it's it's incense has a way doesn't matter what faith person adheres to or not has a way of giving relief to the heart and you can feel it you have that beautiful feeling of oh thank god it's been a crap day but you know what right now i can i can take yeah it's yeah i can go to sleep it's all right now <laughs> it is it's that inhale isn't it as well like when you're inhaling you take that deep breath and there's something about when you when it's filled with a beautiful smell that it does something for you it is it is definitely you know you can see why they would say that perfume is a sadaqa you can see that because yeah yeah that inhalation of something beautiful that it just does something to the heart so what i'm going to do this is what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly run and light some more incense and i'd love you to explain to people why you have called your shop the nakshi store what's what's I'm, the nakshi store i'm about, i'm actually about to change the name of the website um because people, people struggle with it I'm going to get incense so you talk to them I'll be back. Yeah, cool, man. Cool. Assalamu alaikum. Um so I have I accepted Islam well nearly 18 years ago. Um four months of that after that I went and met it first time ever in Cyprus Sheikh Nazim rahimahullah Allah bless his soul. Um of the Naqshbandi tariqa of the Sufi order. Um and you like to be with what you love. So Naqshi store is Nakshi from Nakshiband Tariqa um and Nakshi Shah Nakshiband is the the uh, blessed saint only Allah that was called Shah Nakshiband um but Naqsh as far as I understand it means to embellish sacred text or to embellish the heart so the we, the Sufi tradition is you take away the world from your heart and your life no not your life so your world from your heart and place only God almighty's name meaning the heart is only for God um So this is this is why I called my shop Nakshi store. Um yes Sheikh Nazim mashallah rahimullah. It in order that in order to kind of pay respect and love to my Sheikh. Um unfortunately Nakshi store is very difficult for people to remember for the website. So um over the next month or so I will be replacing the current website with Glastonbury Incense just to make it easier for customers. But Yeah my heart is with the Nakshiband mashallah the Nakshiband um it's 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 very important that person's on a way in my opinion in order that we don't become lost and when we need love and guidance we, like we run to our parents that um for guidance in this world we run to somebody that knows about the next life as well um and hopefully we better our character so this is this is why I call my shop Nakshi store um that's that's really it. there's not much more fancy to it um it's nice it's nice when fellow fellow followers of the path see the name they know um that it's it's what it means um and those that don't know don't know it's it's quite cool um yeah it's quite sweet man it's quite sweet um sakina you back yet almost the voice from above um so Sakina and myself we're both we're both following different teachers but we are both from the from both from the Sufi path we're trying to I get customers asking are you muslim are you sufi and I always say I'm trying I'm just trying I won't know if I've succeeded until my last breath and at that point my lord will, god willing will give me some good news 
God willing. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. But I like I like the prayers of Abu Bakr Siddiq when Dana when he said, "Oh my Lord, don't leave me even for a blink of my a blink of an eye in time with my ego, for surely I'll be my own demise." Um, so, if it's somebody else is a saint or an angel, then you know what you do your own thing by yourself. But for myself, I can only speak about myself, um, and I know I need somebody. Oh yeah. If you're oh. sick, you need a doctor. Right. If you can't write, you go to a teacher. If Please. you need, you know, you need a light bulb changing. You would change it yourself, but generally, if it's something serious, you call in an electrician. And in my case, my heart has sickness, so I go to a heart doctor, and that's my teacher. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Is it lit? Yeah. You're lucky. You've got a gas. You've got um, uh, a gas fire. I, I'm yeah. taking if you do it that quick. But I now and again I get these into cell. I haven't got any at the moment. They're called the mini souffle torch. Get one. Okay. They're brilliant. Oh, that's really good. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, they're really, really good. They they don't last forever, but they they do the job, and and that's what's loved about them. Amazing. So look, we've got about just about ten minutes left of this live before they're going to kick us out after an hour. Yep. Let's go to let. What can, what should we go to next? Should we go to Who's my thing? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Yes, yeah, cool, man. I I'll just grab a piece. We got the time. No, no. Actually, you know what? Um, which is that the red sandalwood? Yeah. Yes, burn a little bit of, burn a tiny bit, maybe five six pieces. Normally, I just scoop and throw it on. If I'm honest, that's about half a teaspoon's worth. But burn a little bit. When you burn it, you'll have kind of a woody, gentle, smoky, sweety undertone. Hmm. Okay. But then we're going to burn that again with copal in a minute, and you'll see the difference. But you see how it's light, but it has, it, it has a more earthy tone to it. Yeah. Try to find, trying to find like a sweet and a savory whenever you smell these things, and it'll make you appreciate it a little bit better. Hey, don't fall off your stool, man. Calm down. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to? Because there's like, I feel like I still got a bit of myrrh burning, so I'm trying to like just get rid of the other thing that's happening. Yeah, your burner's quite small. You might need to actually scoop it and take it out the burner. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because it's like messing up my vibe for a second. <laughs> I was going to say could, I was going to say you could just throw it over the, over the garden wall but uh, <laughs> just give me um, a sec yeah so this is red sandalwood guys from India so um, someone said it's like wine tasting only with incenses exactly it's like hmm, i can taste these under it really is you know what you know, you, with the with, with incense you know when you first burn it you're just like yeah man it feels good oh wow it's sweet it's this i like this one but then actually when you start to get into it you have to start getting a little bit more refined uh sometimes you have to force yourself and at that point you start really into, whoa actually there's another level to this this Exactly. There's a really deep level to it. You know, there's a spiritual, there's a physical, there's the aroma, there's um, the, the ambiance, you know, the kind of thing to it. It's, there's quite a bit to it. It's quite nice. Yeah. Um, so, have you, you put the red sandalwood on? Yeah, but I'm, managed... I'm going to put it on again. I want to just start fresh with that because there was loads of things going on. If I, if, I, if I show people like that while you're burning it. Yeah. You know when you smell it, it's got a woody, sweet smoke smell. But it has, if you pay attention, it does smell a little bit like toothpaste. Oh. And I don't mean like fresh mint aqua. I mean it's got it's got an aroma to it that's fresh and crisp. Mm. Do you see what I mean? How it's it's it, even though it's sweet and woody, it's got a very crisp side to it. Yeah, I feel like. When I first burnt it, when, when you first sent it to me, I felt that. At the moment, because I'm outside, there's a sort of like wind that's kind of blowing it all over the place. I'm not really getting it properly, but it's like it's a bit too smoky for me. But I know what you mean. I, I did feel it when I first got it, but at the moment I'm getting smoke in my eyes. Yeah, it's, 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 so, 
If it has it finished or is it still going? It's still going. When it finishes, if you throw some copal on it. Okay. If you put cool. some copal when it's finished, you put copal on. Smell that, and you'll have kind of a, a sugary lemon, kind of metallic floral undertones. So I should keep the even though the wood. So when the wood has gone black, I should move it off, or I should just put it on top. If you don't, I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that. Uh, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I put it on top. Yeah. All right. So I'm just showing people the copal. It actually looks a lot like frankincense. Yeah, it does. Um, I'll type the name underneath <laughs> to make it easy for people to know what. So, so copal, I believe, from Peru. Um, when you put it on, you'll get the like, sugary lemon metallic floral undertone, and it'll bubble and melt away. Um, when it's once you've once you're comfortable and you know what it smells like, then throw a little bit of sandalwood on top. Did I send you storax? Yes. Ooh, this okay, is that's nice, isn't it? So they mm. use that. They some of them class that as um, as kind of a um, what do they call it? Uh, a Mayan gold. Because over in Peru, this they used to burn this a lot for again ceremonials, cleansing, protection. Prayers, meditation, um, aroma. So it's a real good one. So you don't have to do it, but you can you can sprinkle red sandalwood on it. You can put storax on it. And what that does is it it gives a sweeter note underneath it, but it also slows the burning down of the of the red sandalwood. Okay, nice. If I, if I show people the camera while I do it, so people can kind of see. Oh, the copal and the sandalwood is a nice combination. Yeah, it goes really well, and it, and it just gives it a sweeter depth to it. Where is the storax? It, it, it bubbles. Mm. But I would, I would wait to put the storax on, because um, you, cause have, you, have you burnt storax before? I think just a little bit. When you first sent it to me, I was experimenting. This is mine. Sorry, I'm not doing very well with the camera today. I hope you can see that okay. Yeah, that's good. It's clear. Yeah, mine's starting to bubble now as well. I'd never make a camera run. So what's the difference between the copal and the, and the frankincense? Is it literally just a tree that it comes from? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a different, it's a different tree. I um, can't remember the name, bear with me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bubbling. It actually smells a lot like frankincense, actually. It's really nice. So I, think the, I think the botanical name is Proteum Copal. Oh. Doesn't mean anything to me. It's, I know it's cold, pal. It's really nice. Sure. It melts. When it melts into the sandalwood, you can kind of start to smell this fusion. Yeah, yeah, it really blends really well together. And you know what? It, it helps you get your money's worth because rather than the sandalwood burning away instantly, I always say there's a couple of incense. There's colophony, which is pine resin, which is orange in colour. There is um, damar, which is uh, like a white clear colour. Um, and then this uh, copal. Now those three, any one of those, you can treat them like a carrier oil with aromatherapy. You put a bit on and then you put whatever you want on top and it will carry it everywhere because you get a lot of smoke, as you can see with yours. It really, like, wow, you know. This is really nice. I really love that as well. I remember when me and my husband came back from the and Manoa and we brought loads of different bakora, different incense. And I just love like mixing them and making different Yeah and stuff like that so this is really awesome to kind of yeah to well, it's, well isn't isn't you know my tea brand's called alchemist tea um mm -hmm. and it wasn't something i invented it was something i ended up purchasing but actually that's what that's what i like about incense it reminds me again of, of sufism is that and and faith is that you're turning something of little value into high value mm -hmm. you're the alchemist and that's why we when we cook when we um, when, when you do incense and you mix, you know, everybody always goes, do you know what? Let me just put a bit of this on. And sometimes it works, sometimes it But at that moment, they feel like gold is on its way. Literally. And you literally feel like, do, do, do. Mm. you know, flower lake, Lauren. Right. You do. You feel so excited. You feel so special when you're mixing it. So can I put some storax on it now? I'm just conscious of the time. It's one minute past uh, seven. Do you think it's going to drop off? Because isn't it an hour limit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like, well, so basically everybody, if it's, um, you know, cuts off, just join back again because we're coming to the end of our hour. So come and join back again and we'll burn a few more and then we'll take...